These are the humans you trust. Chief, the Outland Affairs Bureau has issued an urgent communications request. Chief, this is the Desert Bandit's interrogation record. The Desert Bandit said that their crystal came from a creature trapped in the depths of the Tide of Ashes, called the Filth Flower. When the Desert Bandits attained the crystal, they not only gained the power to control sandworms, but also used it to summon the Tide of Ashes. It's the source of the Tide of Ashes. It's the place where the Apostles of Ashes want to take you. No one knows what that place is, nor does anyone know what the Filth Flower and its intentions are. Well, theoretically, if you find the Filth Flower, you may find a way to end the Tide of Ashes. White Sands will regain its tranquility. Hey, you workaholics. Are you done with the report yet? Hakate, I told you to bring Chief over to the celebratory party as soon as you drop off the record. But I waited all day and neither of you came back. Yes, the shelter arranged it, to show their gratitude. Let's go already! Kawakawa is already there! Here's to our adventure! Cheers! Hey, why are you being such a party pooper? It's time to wine and dine and party all night! Right, Kawakawa? Yes! Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Another one, please. Yuck! Swallow before you talk. <laughs> I just feel so happy to have met you guys and joined in the mission. Ugh, so corny. Are you babbling nonsense because you're drunk? Who would be happy to meet a sinner? I didn't drink. These are my true feelings. We even found new ash crystals. Maybe we'll be able to break through the tide of ashes and chart a perfect white sands route. Of course, it's all thanks to Chief and Miss Stargazer. Ah, what a pity that she did not come to the party. I still have a lot of questions for her. Maybe Miss Stargazer didn't come because she doesn't want to be pestered by you. I really got annoying. I'm sorry. Yes, 
Chief, do you want to take her along for tomorrow's operation? You came to ask me to stay. You asked a strange question. Let me answer you this way. I know everything about you. I already completed your requests. I should be leaving anyways. Why are you asking me to stay? So, you want to arrest me? I never hid anything about myself from you, yet you've been feeding me lies all this time. You keep more secrets than anyone. No need to apologize. It's up to you to decide who to share your true self with. You didn't answer my question, Chief. Why do you insist that I stay? Just because of the mission? Dreams are the projection of reality. You are indeed special and beloved by White Sands. Though you are beloved by White Sands, Will you choose it in return? Will you leave the human world? Even if this leads you to danger and deception, to a path of no return, or even death. You are indeed unique. I knew that from the moment I set eyes on you. Words are like quicksand slipping through one's fingers. I hid the diamond between the sands yet you are blind to it. It's about the truth regarding you and me. You and I, we are both others in this world. Monsters. From the day I became aware of my power, to the day I was condemned as a heretic, till now, I have never felt alone. No, the power of prophecy. 
Divining for others has a special meaning for me. It was the first time I encountered that world and felt its power. It allowed me to see the omen. I became obsessed, intent on using the omens to catch a glimpse of the end of the world. Back in reality, everything I prophesied came true one by one. For a while, I became a deity in everyone's eyes. But more than admiration, humans feared this power. My people treated me as a deviant in league with the devil. I was constantly shunned and chased away. I became a monster to the world. From then on, I've been waiting against the crowd in pursuit of the truth that belongs to me. I've also been waiting for my true companion. The crystal ball told me that the answers to my questions lie inside the tide of ashes. So I left my people and ventured into the tide of ashes alone. Yes, I almost died in that sandstorm. It, who hails from the other world, saved me and bestowed me an eternal life of a different kind. I finally felt the kindness of a companion. I will never forget the kindness from my companion. Thus, I'm certain that even if separated by language and thought, there are more of my kind in this world. Thank you for choosing to understand me no matter what. It makes me very happy. So, I choose to help you again. You little monster who wants to understand monsters. Ah, look. The full moon has risen to the middle of the sky. Chief, the Tide of Ashes is ahead. I... I have the crystals ready. Go, Chief, go! I... I believe we can do it! Chief, go and experience that dangerous path you're determined to take. <laughs> 